We gonna have some fun today. What's good sneakerheads? Welcome back to Crew Kicks and welcome back to another sneaker unboxing video. But what is better than one? Two. So today I got two sneakers to unbox. Not just one, but two. Bada boom, realest guys in the room. Before we get into these sneakers, I want to let you guys know that this is Crew Kicks where we upload a video four days a week. That's Monday, Tuesday. Do we upload on Wednesdays? Thursday and Friday, so join the crew. I just farted, but let's go ahead and get into these sneakers. One of these sneakers is from Jordan Brand. They sent it to me. I actually got these from them in New Orleans for All Star Weekend, but I bought too many sneakers, so I asked them to ship it for me, and my good friends at Jordan took care of me. They shipped them to me, and I just got them, so I'm excited to open these up. Other one was an eBay pickup. It's a sneaker from Nike. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the Jordan one because it's, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these. Wow, I didn't even cut it. Oh, We've got ourselves a little note here from my friends at Jordan Brand. Great to see you at All Star and appreciate all the great content you created. Looking forward to working together again soon. From the good people at Jordan Brand. Thank you Jordan Brand for showing so much love to us for All Star Weekend. If you guys didn't see any of my All Star vlogs or un unboxings, go back and watch them because that was probably one of the funnest weekends I have ever had. So this is not the box that the shoes usually come in. This is a different box because let's go ahead and open these up. Bam, we got the, oh, no way. I already showed you guys this. Bam, we got the Jordan 6 from the All-Star Collection. I really, really wanted these shoes from the first time I saw my homie Tony D have these in Florida. I was like, I need those. And Jordan Brand blessed me with them, so I'm really, really excited. So this means I have the 6s, I have the 1s, I got the OVOs from the All-Star Collection. The only ones I did not get are the 31s, which I actually like, but I'm gonna wait on those because I'm pretty sure I can get those for a good price down the line. And I'm not gonna spend too much time on these because many other of my fellow YouTubers have done reviews on these. I'm sure you guys have seen these in stores, but I'm just gonna point out a few of my favorite things about these. One being that the color is so dark and wearable, but it's still like, you know, it pops, you know what I'm saying? I could just, like the way it glistens and the color change, like, it's just beautiful. I really love the Jumpman logo on the back being different. My favorite thing by far on the shoe is the color of this, but this time they did like a gloss. I don't, I really don't even know how to explain that, but the color of it is just beautiful. Wait, 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 wait. Do you see these? Completely forgot how beautiful these lace tips are. That just looks like some Mardi Gras beads right there. That's that's lit. All right, so now let's go ahead and go into my second unboxing. This one again is from eBay. I bought these off eBay because I saw them in person and I really, really wanted them, but they were sold out in my size and they are a very limited shoe. They are only, I believe, 12,000 of these in the world. So let's go ahead and get into it. Voila, Paul George. This right here is the first signature sneaker by Nike from one of my favorite phases. This right here is one of my first, what am I saying? This right here is the first signature sneaker for one of my favorite players in the NBA right now, Paul George, PG-13. All right, so let's go ahead and get into these because these things are so freaking beautiful. This is Paul George's first signature sneaker. They did a fantastic job with this shoe and I'm not just talking about this colorway. I think they constructed the shoe very, very well. And I just noticed right now that the bottom of this shoe is very, very identical to how the six is that I just showed you and that is not even like I didn't do that on purpose that is just a coincidence or whatever it may be but yeah that is basically the same exact bottom right there you guys can see that color a lot of the detail on this shoe you got to see it in person to really appreciate it in my honest opinion I haven't played basketball on them but I would say based off looks and the what I see technology wise this is the best basketball sneaker that Nike has released since the Kobe Nine. One thing I really liked with the shoe is the strap was not actually connected to the forefoot of the shoe Connected through fly wire, which is really really something different. You can see right there It's not connected 
connected to the shoe. I am excited to play in these, but I'm not gonna play in this colorway. So again, I did say these pairs are very, very limited, and they did actually number them. Pair 3,426. I don't know what these numbers mean. I'm pretty sure that that's the actual number of the shoe. I don't know what these represent. If anybody knows, comment down below. The other thing that I really, really like about the shoe is the fact that the price point is very, very affordable. The box price on the PG1 is a hundred and ten dollars realist guys in the room how you doing so yeah let me know what you guys think was the better pickup obviously i bought these ones i didn't pay too much resale for these i think i paid like 180 bucks i think these were both dope sneaker pickups they're both definitely colors and sneakers that i would wear if you are new to this channel make sure you guys do subscribe this is crew kicks where we upload a video four days a week so join the crew we are on the road to half a million subscribers man that sounds crazy to say but it's true i appreciate every single one of you guys for tuning in i am I am the biggest hype beast on YouTube, and I will catch you guys with another video tomorrow. I'm out of here. Hello.